Here I am. When you think you've reached the limit, you only pushed it further away. Introducing the 8x8 cave door, everyone. Look at this guy. Yo, I did this. I did this. I, as me, did this. I, ha I have absolutely no clue how I managed to do this, but here I am. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Semi Gratis Check video. Today, I am going to be flexing on you guys with my 8x8 cave door. You can see it just kind of opens. And it's also intentionally slowed it down, as always. Because uh, I, I want to slow it down. Uh, yeah, it's to prevent lag. That's all that is it. So yeah, as you've already watched the showcase, I'm going to just uh, give you a little bit of an explanation on uh, what the redstone is doing. So basically, uh, first I think we should go look at uh, the piston extenders I used. Here are the piston extenders I used. So first of all we have the classic single piston extender. This design is really popular and it's not mine. Uh, okay, so over here let's continue with the triple piston extender that extends to the side. You can see that it just kind of really coolly does it. It's actually like really compact. Actually none of these designs are mine, just as a disclaimer. Over here is a vertical triple piston extender, which you can see that kind of the observer kind of does a little bit of funny stuff, and that's why we have this door non seamless. It's not seamless just because of those observers when we just real quick open it. You can see that these observers are here, and that's the only not non seamless thing about it. There are holes, but I i mean, I couldn't fix some of them, for example these ones, and these ones. I could fix the ceiling, but I was just too lazy. Um, yeah, uh, continue with the extenders. Over here is a vertical double piston extender. It's really neat, and this horizontal piston extender is... I mean, horizontal double piston extender is even neater. This is also a quadruple piston extender that had to be redesigned by me just because of some uh, space complications. Uh, because of this, yeah, this roof thing could just be easily done like this, and then you could just destroy the entirety of this. But I couldn't put a block here because of some other funny stuff that was going on at the circuit, so I had to redesign the entire thing. And yeah, so this is m not mine, quadruple piston extender, but this portion is mine. Uh, and then over here we have uh, a vertical triple. And then we have a so-called double triple, which is kind of... It's kind of strange, I also had just leaves one of the pistons behind, uh, but yeah, it had to be done. It also works, uh, and yeah, uh, for, uh, one important thing to know is that some of these designs are activated by button, while some are activated by lever, which means that I have to use a so-called T flip flop to make this work, which is this little circuit. 
and it basically converts the click of a button into a flick of a lever. And so we can get a button input and a lever input uh, into the circuit. So over here you can see that it's kind of crammed in here. The redstone is really, really just complicated. These are the vertical doubles. This is the vertical triples. I mean, these are more the vertical doubles. Uh, the singles, the horizontal triple, uh, the horizontal quad, which actually looks like two quads on top of each other, but it's not. Uh, these pistons, these top ones, they are basically just fake. They are only there to make this work because I had to uh, put the circuitry one block higher than it would be normally. And also what's interesting about this design is that it has no double piston extenders on the roof. There are only single piston extenders and this cluster of triples. It, this one is really, really confusing and it really just took me a long while to get it working. But you can see it works and all of the double extender blocks also get pulled up. Yeah, so that is basically it for the door. It's basically it. I don't really have anything else to say. It's ten it's intentionally slowed it down to reduce lag. It's not seamless, but it's really close to being so. And it's overall just beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. I don't know how to end this. Just 